Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today I'm doing another video where I take a poorly composed, poor photo and rescue it using Topaz Labs software. Today I'm going to be using Topaz Labs Gigapixel AI and Sharpen AI to fix this image. As you can see, I'm in Lightroom. I'm going to be using both those applications as Lightroom plugins today. They, of course, work as plugins in Photoshop and they work as standalone apps as well. Now, I mentioned that this is kind of a bad image. Um, that's because um, if I look at the crop, you can see there's a very significant crop on this image. Um, a few years ago, we went to Virginia Beach and we went on one of those boats where they take you out to see the dolphins. And you can see the Water had a bit of a chop on it, and the way the sun was, I really couldn't see under the water, so I couldn't track the dolphins under the water and guess where they would jump up. So I had to shoot a little wider than I wanted to, even though I was using a 300 millimeter lens, and I had to shoot a little wider uh, so that I made sure that I caught them when they jumped out of the water. I did catch them when they jumped out of the water, but because I was wider, I had to do this significant crop, so I lost a lot of resolution. And the Nikon 28 to 300 millimeter lens isn't known to be the sharpest lens. It's not bad, but it's not as sharp as some of their other lenses. Uh, so it's a little bit soft. So I'm going to use Gigapixel AI to increase the resolution, and then I'm going to use Sharpen AI to sharpen the image. I often get asked what order do I use these applications? And specifically, I use Denoise AI first. Now this image, I'm not using Denoise AI on. It shot at ISO 400, but if you look at it, there's really no noise. So I just used um, Lightroom's noise reduction to uh, get rid of what little noise there was, and I'm not sharpening it at all in Lightroom. So I'm not going to use Denoise today, but I'm going to use Gigapixel first, then Sharpen AI. And the reason why I do it in this order is each of these apps add a little bit of sharpening to the image. So if you do use Denoise, not only will it remove the noise, it adds a bit of sharpening as well. Then when you use Gigapixel, not only does it increase the resolution, it adds a little sharpening as well. That way, when you use Sharpen last, you'll know exactly how much sharpening to add. If you used it first, those other applications, once they add their sharpening, it may make your image over sharpened. All right, so let's get started. First of all, the resolution on this image, if I hit I a couple times, it's 1900 by 1266. So it is very low res right now. So I'm going to send it to Gigapixel AI first. I'm going to right click right on the image, go down to edit in, and then I'm going to go to Gigapixel AI right there. And I have to edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. This is a RAW file, but a Lightroom limitation is it won't allow you to use any plugin with a RAW file. You have to convert it. And uh, Topaz Lab suggests you convert it to a TIFF file. And I'm going to keep the specification Profoto RGB, 16 bits per component, resolution 300, and no compression. I'm just going to click edit. Now Lightroom is creating that TIFF file with those specifications. You can see the progress bar in the top left hand corner. Then it's going to open it up into Gigapixel AI. Now, I have Gigapixel AI uh, set up by default to show me four different resize modes. Uh, right now, it's actually showing me three resize modes. In the top left-hand corner is the standard mode. Next to that is the standard mode. And then below that on the left-hand corner is low resolution. And next to that is lines. I like to use this to just kind of see... Uh, them next to one another and then I can make a better determination of which one of these resize modes looks the best. Now specifically I want to get rid of one of the standards. I have two here so I'll click on this one. I already have low resolution and lines so why don't we put very compressed. So this one's now going to be very compressed. It is updating. There it is. All right now I'm going to reposition uh, the navigator rectangle over here in the top right hand corner to an area of the image that I feel is you know more applicable. 
Now, as I look at it, you could see that um, there is some varying sharpness here because as I mentioned, Gigapixel AI does add some sharpening to the image. And you could see that very compressed is the sharpest of the three. Maybe a little bit unrealistic though. It doesn't look quite right. And I am going to be using Sharpen AI at the end. So I don't need to like max out sharpening in Gigapixel. What I do need to do in Gigapixel is determine how large I want to make it. Now I mentioned that this is pretty low resolution. It was like something 1900 by 1267. So if I keep my scale at 4x, that makes it 7600 by 5068. So that's a pretty good size um, image now. So that's what I'm going to use. And as I click through these, like very compressed isn't on auto. So what I like to do is switch them all to auto. So I'm comparing apples to apples. Let's click on the standard that is on auto. Low resolution is on auto and lines is on auto. Now, of course, um, it doesn't, we're probably not gonna use lines that's meant for like scanned artwork and stuff like that. So I wouldn't really need that. I think I'm just going to go with standard with the auto settings. As I mentioned, I don't have to max out sharpening yet. I'm going to use Sharpen AI for that. And Sharpen AI uses more sophisticated algorithms to do sharpening than Gigapixel AI does. Gigapixel AI is kind of like a bolt-on sharpening that they added to it so that it will sharpen the image once you increase the resolution. It's not as... Um, um, diverse, let's say, as uh, Sharpen AI. So I'm going to go with standard with the auto settings. So that is the, the one that is active right here. And just to show you something, I'm going to go to a single view and let it render. You can see in the lower left-hand corner, it's rendering. And if I click on it, there's before and there's after. There's before and there's after. Now you could see that Gigapixel AI added sharpening to it. That's why I do these in the order that I mentioned. Uh, Denoise AI, Gigapixel AI, then Sharpen AI. Because you do sharpening last so that you add the correct amount of sharpening. If you did sharpening sooner, once you add these other two apps, Denoise and or, Sharp, or um, Gigapixel to it, it may over sharpen the image. So we're going to click Apply. And then it's going to add that sharp. Um, that resolution to this uh, image and it will return us to Lightroom and you can see down here in the film strip we now have two images here's the original image that's 1900 by 1266 and here's our gigapixel image that's 7600 by 5068 and maybe you could see the sharpening how it's a little bit sharper but now I'm ready to send it to sharpen AI so I'm going to right click right on it I'm going to go down to edit in and I'm going to go down to Topaz Sharpen AI. Now you have the option uh, to send a copy with Lightroom adjustments. Now I didn't do anything in it, so I don't necessarily have to do that first one. I could do, if I want to send a copy, this will do the same thing. So either one would do the same thing. Um, or edit the original. Now if you uh, are lacking drive space, you may not want to create another file because the... Um, you know, it's going to take up more drive space. So you may not want to edit a copy, either the top one or the middle one. You may prefer the original. It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to click the top one because that was by default. And I'll just click edit. So it's going to create a third file now. And it's going to open that file up into Sharpen AI. And similar to Gigapixel AI, I like to kind of sample the different uh, sharpening, sharpen models, they call it. So I go to what's called comparison view in the top right hand side right here. And then you'll see the four different models that I you know, could, could see at once. Here's the original image though, in the top left hand corner. Then next to that is autofocus very noisy. Again, I'm going to move the, the navigation uh, rectangle to a spot that is more applicable. And in the lower left is autofocus normal. And then to the lower right is two soft normal. So we're seeing three of the multiple sharpen models at one time because that top left one is the original image. So what you can do, if this is a bit confusing to you, is go to single view 
And when you're in single view, you then can turn on this switch. And when you turn on that switch, what it will do is it will use the model that it detects will work best for this image. Now you can see that I have the model parameters on auto. And I usually like to start out with auto. And here's a before after. I'll just click on it. There's before. There's after. Before. After. Hopefully you can see that. It is a bit subtle, uh, the sharpening uh, here. Before. After. But I like it. And I'm just going to keep those uh, model parameters. The one that it recommended, which was too soft, very blurry. Model parameters, auto. And I don't need to do any masking. And I'm not going to add grain to it in post-processing, so we're not going to do that. And this is masking, by the way, where it says select. If I open that, it would add mask. And I could mask, let's say, just the dolphins and not do any sharpening to the water. But I want the splashes around the dolphins to be sharp as well. So we're going to click Apply. And now it's going to uh, do that sharpening to this third file. And this will be our final file. This is the image that I will export from Lightroom and share with the world, uh, this specific image, once it's done. And there it is. Now, we, down in the film strip, we have the three different images. Our original RAW file is number one. This next one is the gigapixel image that you can see as the resolution has been increased. And then the one next to that is the sharpen image. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to give you a uh, before after kind of thing here. So we'll go here. There is, let's move it around like right here. There is our dolphins, nice and sharp with, um, with our final result. Then here's the raw file. Now the raw file, because it's such low resolution, it's going to be kind of hard to get it exactly like the other one was, but it's something like that. So there's that one. Try to remember that. And there's that one. And now we got to zoom back out and do it over. But what I'm going to do is in post-production is I am going to um, get a nice crop of these so that you could see them. So starting right now, you're seeing the one on the left is the raw file. And, you know, didn't have any um, increased resolution with Gigapixel AI and it's not sharpened. And then the one on the right has increased resolution and is sharp with Sharpen AI. So hopefully you could see how I really improved this image. And mainly, if you remember, if I go back to the original image, uh, it was a significant crop. And that is the entire reason why I ended up having to use these two applications by Topaz Labs to make this image just that much better. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>